Good morning, everybody. As you can see, I'm back home in Yerushalayim. It was really wonderful to see everybody and to spend time with all of you while I was home. It was a very, very special visit, and I miss you all already. Just wanted to share something special about this week's Torah portion. You know, it's a double portion this week. That means we read the portion of Tazria and Mitzorah. And a big focus of this week's Torah portion is what we call tsaras. Tsaras was a skin affliction. Sometimes it came in the form of, a, of a, an affliction on one's clothing or even on one's house. And the actual affliction itself was called a nega. This was the name that was used in the Torah for this particular ailment. And we're told by the rabbis, by our sages, that that came as a result of speaking Lashon hara, negative speech, hurtful, damaging, disparaging speech about another person. Now the Torah goes on to describe the protocol. Originally, when a person would see this affliction on their clothing or on their home or on their garment or on their body, they would notify the Kohen. And the Kohen, the priest, would come and he would isolate the person, put him in quarantine for a week, a concept that unfortunately we're all very familiar with. And then he would come back and he would take a look and to see if the nega, if this affliction, hafachas eno, if it had changed colors, if it had changed its appearance or not. And if it did, then there was the beginning of the healing process and he would no longer need any quarantine. And if it didn't, he'd have to continue his quarantine and leave the camp entirely. But the word hafachas eno, those words, literally means, did it change his eye? We translate to mean, did it change its appearance? But it literally means, did he change his eye? And there's a deep message over here. What is Lashon Hara? What is this negative speech? Where does it come from? Why does a person speak negatively about somebody else? Another Jew, where does that come from? It doesn't originate from our mouth or from our tongue. It originates from our eyes, our perspective. How do we look at other people? What's the... What's the perspective that we have when we meet another person or somebody else in our lives? Are we looking at them in a negative way? Are we looking at, at ourselves vis-a-vis -vis them and wondering, how am I better than that person? Or how is that person less than me? Do I look at them with negativity? Do I look at them in a disparaging way? And if I do, of course, it's going to ultimately lead to speaking negatively about them. Lashon Hara does not originate in the mouth. It originates in our eyes. How do we look at another person? Do we look at them with an eye in tova, with a good eye? Are we looking at another person trying to see their godliness, to see their holiness, their unique contribution that they can make, what's special about them, their gifts, their greatness? Or are we looking down on them? Are we looking for what's wrong with them? Are we looking for their blemishes so that maybe we can feel better about ourselves? It all starts with the eye. When the Kohen comes back to look at this person to see, did this affliction change his eye? Did it change his perspective? Did it change the way he's looking at another person? If so, he learned his lesson and it's time for him to move on and rehabilitate. And if not, he still has more learning to do. This is a very powerful message. Lashon Hara is a terrible, terrible thing. We're all guilty of it. It's very hard to avoid. But if we understand that it doesn't start with the mouth, it starts with the eyes, then we can really begin to work on this trait and this quality and to overcome our temptation to speak negatively. Look at another person in a positive way. See their greatness. See what's special about them. Look for their holiness and their godliness and their unique contribution instead of looking at them in a negative way. And we'll be far less likely to speak about them in a negative way as well. Wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom from Yushalayim.